Back to work. In London today we have just done 36 shows in the US from East Coast to West Coast on this family we go to it was it was an amazing time then we just landed in the UK a couple of days ago and got to see all our families very briefly and then we have hit the road here so it's gonna be great Seriousness is not a fruit of the spirit, but joy is. And I've heard that so many times, I and mean, we've done so many shows together. More than their live show, I've seen their joy just in day-to-day -day living, like on the bus, particularly. They're actually happy people. To see them live and lead their families with joy is beautiful, and I, I hope I can live that out too. Editing Campfire 2. <laughs> There's nothing less glamorous than, than touring in a band. Uh, when, you, when you have to stand there and brush your teeth with an audience of 11 people uh, every day, it's kind of like, you never feel less like Taylor Swift, you know? Um, <laughs> and also, the kind of highs of that too, to be accepted when everybody knows you before you've had your coffee, before you've had a chance to, to put your hat on and become Rain Collective, uh, to be loved in that context as a family is so special to us. I get you no problem, friend. And then it got sold out. Well, we'll hook you up. Tell me, tell me your name. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Yes, Thank happy you. anniversary. Tell your wife we said happy anniversary yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Take it easy. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. I should give him a flowers. Uh, the bus is amazing because it allows us to travel further at night, it allows us to sleep while we're traveling. So you're more refreshed during the day, you can give it more energy at night. Um, there's still 12 people on the bus. Actually on this tour there's 16 people on the bus. And that's a lot of bodies in a very small tin can. Uh, I'm not gonna say it doesn't ever get smelly. I'm not gonna say that we don't often get frustrated living so close to each other. Uh, so the bus is great, but it's also a bus. <laughs> uh, teaching your child to eat solid food, for example, while taking off on an airplane or uh, on a moving bus first thing in the morning can be quite challenging. <laughs> or uh, potty training, that, that was fun. It's inconvenient, but it's, it's brilliant at the same time. I think whenever we touch on things in life that are inconvenient, we actually start to feel a little bit more alive. I guess it's, it's inconvenient, but it's brilliant. They're up before anybody else. They're in, in bed after everybody else. They kind of work with a smile on their face at all times. 
It's funny how people just see the band on stage, but literally Rent Collective isn't just five people on stage, but it is the collective from, um, from everybody does sound lights, from uh, social media to, you know, helping us in whatever way it is. We're a family. And I love that. I love that we're a family and that we're going. I'm really glad that we have a team that are just excelling. You know, the guys on sound, the guys on lights, um, the other people here involved, tuning guitars, setting up the stage. Uh, I mean, all of those guys, everything that we do or, quote, achieve is because of them and also that achievement is owed to them as well. So, yeah, forever thankful. Get up, unload the truck, start setting everything up from lighting, video, um, drum kit, keyboard, all that kind of stuff. Um, then have a quick break for lunch, continue on, do more of the same, uh, sound check, have a quick break for dinner, and then straight into the into the night. Um, get changed, get my get my nice clothes on, and um, go out and play bass and worship for for an hour and a half or so, and then. Um, yeah, get all the gear into the truck as quickly as possible, get some late night dirty food and then go to bed, rinse and repeat. If you look out, you see a few thousand people giving it the rice, dancing about, smiling, worshiping. Like it, you know, it it encourages us because we know that at the centre of it, they're actually just drawn to Jesus, and that's there's no better reason to do this than that. Every time we can step away from from that mic, every time we can we can just hear the church singing back at us so loud that we can't hear ourselves anymore. That's a huge high. Uh, we just had a night in Bristol that was unbelievable. The volume of singing was so much that I could hardly sing in tune anymore. And that's just a perfect situation. I'll, I'll take that every day. Um, so when the church takes over, that's a high point. Whenever I take over, that's a low point. I think <laughs> that's pretty much it. No matter where people are at when they come in, they always leave in the presence of Jesus. And I think that is, that is why we do what we do. I've been in tears with people afterwards, literally crying with them through their stories of how our songs have been part of their journey. And uh, that's such a privilege to be part of people's journey. It's such a privilege to point people to Jesus uh, in the darkest times as well. There's so many reasons why it would make no sense to do what we do, but the fact that God is using it, God is blessing it. God has decided that he wants to speak through us. That's a privilege, that's an honor. And I think we just have a responsibility to, to, to serve the people that come into the room. I think, I mean, we're in London tonight. There's two and a half thousand people coming, which is mind blowing. Back in 2012, I think we had 250 people come. So that's, that's 10 times the people coming tonight, which is crazy, which is crazy. But it just, I just feel a responsibility that we have to serve those people, you know, they're coming hungry, um, so we got to serve them and also not take any of their praise for ourselves because we don't, we're not owed any of it. like a real builder today. Building a baby, having a cup of tea. Well, on this tour, this family we go to, um, Ali started the tour four months pregnant. She's ending the tour eight and a half months pregnant. So, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy, but that's why I married her. She's a woman made of stern stuff. 
by the third song in, I usually have to pee. And I'm thinking, how can I make it through? <laughs> Where is the closest bathroom? <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it's, it's amazing. So we just have to, I have to make it through two more weekends of, uh, of nights and we'll see how we go. <laughs> I think that's a testimony to her. Um, it's also a testimony to, I guess, the purpose that God has given us in the team, that we, we look at our practicalities and we just realize that this is inconvenient, this is difficult, this is hard work, but this is what God's called us to do. And you know, missionaries a couple of hundred years ago had it a whole lot worse. So um, we're going to chase after the purposes and the dreams that God's given us. We're not going to sit and we're not going to look at the mountains or the giants that are in our way, but we're just going to we're just going to trust that He's with us and we're just going to see every one of those giants fall to their knees. Every dragon will fall, the mountains will move, every chain of the past be broken into, all the fear of the lies, we see. tour and um, it was touch and go for a while. Touch and go, it was <laughs> indeed. We're Bobby all about nervous every night. <laughs> but we made it and Lachlan arrived on the 3rd of June 2016. Here he is. In all his glory. In all his glory. The family just keeps growing. <laughs> <laughs>